Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1974 S Penny and going over the ones that are worth way more than one cent. So it could be that there's a repunched mint mark or what's known as a variety, where if you look closely you can identify something off about it that would be something collectors are interested in. There's also conditional rarities and some super significant errors, some of the craziest in modern history that did occur on the 74S, though you'll probably know if you've got one of those. But let's get into the presentation and go over everything that you want to know. And here we've got the 1974 S cent. Now, just some basic information. This coin is going to be copper, and that means it's worth a little bit more than a cent in terms of its intrinsic metal value, but you can't melt it down because that's illegal. Uh, they struck regular strike at the San Francisco Mint with the S mint mark from 1968 to 1974, and the coin is a little lower mintage compared to some of the other dates and years, 400 million or so were made. Um, and the condition at which it gets expensive or worth certifying is actually only Mint State 66 at around $50. 66 plus is about 100 and Mint State 67 is 400 but these should be pretty flawless coins that you're submitting. You want to probably target Mint State 67 or 6 plus and then if it falls to Mint State 66 it's still worth it because you know, certification might cost 20, 25 bucks. You know, there's also other fees. And then when you sell it, there's also fees plus your time. So that's sort of what to look for. There's one known Mint State 67 plus. I'd estimate that at like two or three thousand um, dollars. The only variety that exists for this coin is going to be the repunched mint mark. Uh, I'm really excited about some of the errors though, but the repunched mint mark, clear uh, south north. Um, splits the serifs are really nicely defined there both on top and the bottom um, and people probably pay between two bucks and eight dollars if you have a well-defined coin especially if it's accompanied by images that really show that's definitely the repunchment mark I mean it's a nice coin it has more appeal and split than some of the other um, repunchings that are out there but the ones I really want to focus on so this is an unbelievable error it sold for eleven thousand dollars quite recently and was a reverse brockage now in terms of how this coin actually came to be it probably would have been one coin stacked on top of a fully struck 1973s gets hit with the 74s but a strange impression because it's stacked on two coins so the spacing of the dies is not going to be great and then it receives the reverse impression from the 1973s that goes into the reverse um, being struck up from underneath and that's the reverse side, whereas the obverse is sort of normal in quotes, but it was improperly spaced, so it has the strange pressure, and the detail doesn't really come through well, but just a fabulous error that's only second to this coin, which is also just unbelievable. So Panama has a dollar that's linked to the United States one, um, the Panama Balboa, and we were striking for them in 1974, uh, their 10 cent Decimo de Balboa coins. So what presumably happened here is that there was an already struck um, Balboa, Decimo de Balboa coin, um, and that was stacked on top of a 1974S uh, planchet, but that there was also two obverse dies striking these coins. So it wasn't an obverse and a reverse like there should be, but on one side it gets impressed with the 1974S, the obverse, and then that pushes the back of this coin, which is really the sort of the front with, with Balboa's impression. Um, and that the reverse impression gets put on the, you know, other penny. And then the 1974, you know, the normal planchet, um, you know, gets the impression, reverse impression or reverse brockage of the Decimo del Balboa and gets a normal looking obverse. This sold, this pair of the coins sold for $21,600. So some insane errors. This is also really significant. It's an obverse die break. So normally like a cud error, um, you know, it's worth maybe a hundred bucks. I don't know, somewhere in that range. Uh, you have the die that breaks apart and then, you know, resulting strikes are going to see the, uh, you know, whatever part of the die chips off is filled with this cud error. But in this case, the part of the die that broke off ends up on the planchet and gets struck into it. So uh, it's retained. It's just an unbelievable thing that happens almost never, and somebody paid $9,000 for it in this hot error market. Our last coin is struck on a Philippines one centimo planchet, sold for $5,200, and you know that's an aluminum coin, just a totally different planchet. So some really crazy stuff going on here, really fun to be able to present it to you, and I hope that you enjoyed that. Plus, 
look for the small repunch mint mark, not anything crazy, but still worth a quick glance. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like the video, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I also have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and some other social media platforms. You can also go to my main channel website, treasuretownyt.com, to learn more about the channel and sort of stay in contact. I also will eventually host all of these videos on coinsmetalscards.com, which will be both news, marketplace, and coin information. I do have the goal of eventually getting pretty much every U.S coin, date, mint mark, denomination on the channel with a similar video to the one that you just watched, and that will likely all be hosted there. Uh, and then I also have treasuretowncoins.com, which is sort of my coin dealing wing, coin dealing only entity that is a little bit less focused on content production. So thank you so much, and I'll look forward to seeing you on some of my other videos. I also have videos that are not just the date uh, mint mark denomination recap in this format, uh, so you can check some of those out, and I'll yeah have fun seeing you there.